Hello everybody and welcome to another Dead by Daylight video. I've been meaning to make a video for the past four days, but I got sick. And specifically, um, it was throat issues and I couldn't speak. Which makes talking on a video kind of difficult. So if you see a lot of awkward edits throughout the video... It's because I cut out parts of it because I'm hacking up a lung. Try to enjoy the video nonetheless. Okay, and today, I'm bringing you my very first proper build video. And it is not a build derived by choice, more on limitation. These are all the perks my hack has. And I was going through my two killers that I've leveled up thus far. And they actually both have at least three perks that synergize pretty well together. So I slap it together, call the build, kill some survivors. I haven't actually tried this. Um, in theory, I don't think it's going to work very well. But that brings me to my next point that I'll explain after I explain the build. Um, so as you can tell, this is... We're going to call this build the golden years have not been very kind to my lower lumbar, so I'm going to leave you on the ground. Hag perk build. And as you can tell, for those of you who are in the know, it's a slug build that foregoes the ability to teleport for a little bit extra movement speed. Uh, I believe it's the... yeah, this one. So, knockout, other survivors cannot see the aura of dying survivors unless they are within 16 meters. Hex the third seal blinds everyone that I hit, so they can't, if they're like survive with friends or whatever, they have to use communication. If they're not survive with friends, they can't see anybody coming towards them, they can't crawl towards anyone for help. It's Hex, so it's probably going to get broken in the first five seconds, which is why I brought Knockout for backup. So basically, these two perks make it so the survivors have difficulty finding each other once I knock them down. Deerstalker lets me find them after I knock them down. And Sloppy Butcher, if they find each other and, don't, and they're too stupid to recover, uh, it makes it take longer for them to heal each other, thanks to the Mangled Effect. And I suppose I didn't explain what a slug build is. Excuse me, I'm fairly new at the build video format. A slug build is where I knock a survivor down, leave him there, find another survivor, knock him down, and the goal is to knock down all four survivors. And once I have them all knocked down, I use Deerstalker to find them, hook them, and have Cherry Cobbler, I don't know, just run around the map while they slowly die all around me. For my add-ons, I'm using the waterlogged shoe, which survivors suffer from the hindered status effect. I'm pretty sure it just makes you heal and, and uh, repair generators slower, if I'm not mistaken. But it's not one I've ever worried about, so it's not one I know that much about. But I'm using the waterlogged shoe for the increased movement speed and... That's really the only reason I'm using this one. The Scarred Hand, however, gives the Phantasmal Hags, Mud Phantasms as they're called, collision. So if I put a triangle on the floor, a survivor triggers it, and I'm chasing them, they can't run through it. Basically, they're stuck between uh, a hag and a hard hag. Both of these remove my ability to teleport, but the reason I'm removing my ability to teleport is because the hags, one of the hags' main ways to build momentum in a game is hooking a survivor, putting a trap in front of or near the survivor, waiting for another survivor to come by and trigger the trap, and then chasing down the survivor that triggered the trap and the survivor that got off the hook. Since I'm slugging, I lose that ability to gain that momentum. So, 
I don't need to teleport as badly. The, tra the traps will go off and I'll still get a notification as to where the survivors are, but I'm pretty sure it puts the, sur the hag's movement speed up to a, a base killer's. So basically, I'm losing my ability to teleport and replacing it with the ability to put walls, very tiny, like, pillars in the way of survivors. So, slug build with a little bit of uh, body blockage. And that's what we're doing today. Sound fun? Sound fun. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. I have no idea how this is going to go. A hag slug build. Slug builds are usually used with the nurse or with the spirit because they have mobility. They can get around and slug people much easier than the hag can. So, what I'm going to try and do is block windows and shit. I don't know how well the hag is going to be able to handle this shit. Yeah, well, that's pretty obvious, but it's blocked. I also believe my uh, my phantasms, my my triangles have collision too. Okay, I had to get the generators. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who's in here? Who's in my? Oh, someone's around here. Someone's around here. There you are. Oh, two someone's. Let's see, he didn't go this way. Why did I go that way? That yeah, was a bush hag. Good job. That was also a... Quit auto-locking onto him. Damn. That's good. Uh... I'm going to break that. I'm going to break that. I'm going to learn you a lesson. That's not something I can walk through. <sighs> haven't played for a few days yet. Can't tell. Probably should have a warm-up game, but you know, didn't. Oh shit! Okay, well, that should have been an easy hit, but I fucked it up. But it's okay. It's okay. Just getting started. Let's get this going. Who's over here? Oh, you're over here. Where the hell'd you run off to? Did you evaporate? Oh, here. Went this way. Thank you. Alright, you enjoy being on the floor. I'm going to go find this Claudette I saw go this way. Oh, she ran this way choice. Alright, so you're going over there to heal your friend, I guess. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're not getting it, though. Okay. So you two will probably survive with friends, then. That's cool. Why am I shaking so much? Come here, Claudette. I need to down you. I must down you and leave you for dead. All right, not going too bad. Okay. Now, who triggered that phantasm? Do do do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't even have to force this, you just kind of put all the gins over here. Hey buddy. 
Hey. How's it going? You having fun down there? Where is this dude hiding? Oh, over there, okay. Where are you hiding, sir? Oh, oh, he's over there. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Nope, we don't got him. That's it. Oh, that's it. Come here. Come here, Meg. Come here, Meg. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It worked. It worked. Mm -hmm. Bam. And scene. Oh, there you go. There you go. Come on, somebody. Somebody get that Kobe. Someone get off the hook. Make my day. Oh, ain't nobody making my day. All right. All right. I can dig it. I pipped. GG's. No one? Nothing to say? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, that was a glowing success. Which, my second point that I never got to in my opening. I was going to use this as kind of a benchmark of whether or not I should rank up before I make more videos or if I should just continue doing what I'm doing at rank at the low ranks. Um, and that went way too well, I feel. And I really... I want to make decent content and put it on YouTube. I don't want to fill YouTube with a bunch of like useless unentertaining dribble which that was entertaining in its own self in its own right but I don't, I don't know I don't really know how to say it exactly. Um, slugging on the hag it just shouldn't have worked that well and I feel the issue is these players are too new and they and an actual like build with a goal is going to destroy them every single time I do one. So this is going to be, even though it's been three weeks since my last video, I think it was last year, I think it may have been before Christmas, maybe in a month since I made a video, this is going to be my last Dead by Daylight video for a while. I'm going to level up my killers, level up my survivors, I'm going to rank up, and I'm not going to make any more videos until I'm at least rank 10 or higher, where people actually have an idea of what they're doing. So until then, I'll see you in a probably couple months. <clears throat> I'll see you in about a month or so. Probably about, give me about a month. I'll be back. I'm back in February. And I might bring you other content. Um, my wife bought Hitman 2. I've been thinking about playing that on the, on the channel. Might play some Monster Hunter. They got a DLC coming out soon. I might bring you some Grim Dawn content. <laughs> Been playing that for the past three weeks, which is why I haven't touched this game. And they got a, a DLC coming out as well very soon. Hopefully I won't be sick. But thank you very much for watching. 
and I'll see you in whatever video I bring to you next time.